YouTube. What's up, man? It's a special day today. Today, we probably get to a top three shoe of mine of all time. I can't remember if I said it or not because I did a semi review of this particular shoe when I did my Jordan 6 DMP review. So if you missed that one, please, man, do me a favor, go back and check that one out. I really liked that video. I was super excited to get that pair. That pair is a, pers a personal grail of mine. And this pair is also a personal grail of mine as well. So as, as I always say, I don't wanna waste your time. Let's just get right into it, man. Today, we are talking about the Air Jordan 6 Infrared. Check that guy out. Let me just put one up here, you know what I mean? Let me, let me focus on just one guy, man. Dust this guy off real quick. Check that guy out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that thing, man. Actually, hold on real quick. All right, I'm back. We gotta show this guy. You know, this, this is this is my Kiwi, uh, what's this, horsehair brush made by, there we go, made by Kiwi. It's my Kiwi horsehair brush. We gotta show this guy the proper love and attention and TLC deserves. You I mean, check that guy out, man. Yeah. So anyway, man, listen, this is the Air Jordan 6 Infrared. Now, as you guys know, or if you don't know, this is the shoe that Michael Jordan won his first championship in in 1991 when John Paxson beat the, I mean, when he and the rest of the Bulls beat Magic Johnson and the Los Angeles Lakers. Again, his first title. Now, uh, I don't know if I should go into too much detail about the design of the shoe. I went over that in my DMP6 uh, review. You know what I mean? I'll pull that guy out, subtle flex, nothing big, you know. These guys have been restocking and restocking and restocking and people are treating this particular shoe like it's absolute garbage, man. Like they forgot, you know, what the heritage and, and the meaning behind this shoe is. You know, this shoe is a remaster or remix, you know, part de of this particular shoe. Again, this is the shoe that Jordan won his first championship in. And it is, for me, an absolute grail. This shoe, uh, designed by Tinker Hatfield, as I mentioned, like all sixes, it has the spoiler on the back of it that emulates the Porsche that Michael Jordan was supposedly driving at the time where um, Tinker Hatfield got his inspiration from. It's got the, you know, classic, uh, two hole tongue, you know, to put your uh, foot in there and get it nice and secure. The infrared lace lock that's on it. I'll try to get zoom in there, get closer. Focus on me. Focus, buddy. And light. There we go. That's a strong light. But you guys see that thing. You know, once I get, you know, <laughs> better at this, I'll, I'll get some more equipment. In the meantime, you're stuck with this, this craziness. And of course, you know, the uh, hints of 3M hidden behind the shoe itself. You know, I think that's just a classic classic look it's a classic looking shoe and i love this shoe i think it's a must have for any collector now normally i tell you that much later in the video but i can't express the um just the iconography of this shoe just how important this shoe is to the history of the jordan brand how in, important it is to the history of jordan legacy and i love it sixes again are my absolute favorite and this one may 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 top the list of them I have not sat down and put together a list of all the Jordans, which I think are the best as far as Jordan 6, but this is undoubtedly right there at the top. This is the most important part, is this infrared color. Now, I, need, I actually need to do turn the light down just a little bit, so hold on, bear with me. Okay, so this actually looks a little bit better lighting wise. What I did was adjust the temperature of the light. And this was important to me to bring up for uh, one particular reason. If I don't, if I do recall right, this shoe did come out in 2019. I wanna say March of 2019. I could be mistaken, but I think this shoe pre, uh, predated the Bread 4 re-release in 2019. And so what's important about this particular release is a couple this release is a couple of things. First and foremost, I think the other time that this shoe retroed was in 2014. I could be mistaken, but I do think it was 2014. And that particular shoe along here and everywhere else you see this infrared colorway was more of a, a hot pinkish. So if I remember, I'm gonna go ahead and scoot on over here for a second. I'm gonna try to put up the 2014 release here. And I'm gonna try to hold this up uh, at the same time, so you'll be able to compare and contrast that pinkish release. So that one, you know what I mean, wasn't quite as true to the original retro as this shoe is. Not to mention, this one does in fact have that Nike Air on the back. And that is what's really important too. For this shoe to be a true retro, it to me should have a lot of the same 
cut of the shoe, the same colorway and Nike Air on the back. Because if I'm not mistaken, the shoe that originally dropped in 1991 did have that Nike Air. So that is really important to make this a true retro. As I always keep saying to you, I got started late in the game as far as collecting, but it's been a really good time for me, especially um, since everything is the 30th anniversary of the fives and the sixes. I think I missed a four 30th anniversary a couple years ago, but uh, they released a bread four with the Nike Air on the back. This one and the Fire Red Five that's behind me is no, there's no, um, there's no separation between that. So it's really important that I think this, I think this shoe is really important. I'm glad to have it. Uh, I actually picked this shoe up. Uh, second hand from Easy Kicks Ontario. I keep shouting them out, but I was able to uh, get this shoe because I missed the boat on that. Again, I only started collecting in May of 2019. As I stated earlier, I do believe this one came out sometime in March. So, you know, I had no idea that this shoe was as popular as it was, but I know when I saw it, I had to have it. And I mean, other than that, there's not a whole lot to say about this shoe. Uh, as much I as I'd like to have kept this one on ice, I have put it on feet, I have rocked it. I do think it's super dope. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about what I, you know, just if it, this is your first time seeing this shoe, I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's got this uh, short hair, I guess this is a new buck that's similar to what's on the Jordan 4. This tongue cowl does have a, a uh, I guess a nylon tongue uh, cowl on it with the red infrared Jumpman on it as well as the infrared on the lace lock. As you can see, it does have Jordan up top with air on the inside of it. It's a subtle nod to his obviously nickname, Air Jordan. You know, uh, as you can see, it's got this, you know, ashy rubber uh, toe cap with infrared hints and a, uh, hey, listen, rock my stock with this uh, was, you know, a translucent bottom, which you can see I have worn this. I, I love this shoe. I love it, I love it, I love it. Again, I wish I would have doubled up on this shoe to be able to rock one and keep one on ice because I just hate to destroy this shoe wearing it out. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna wear this shoe as much as I probably would like to just because I need to preserve it and there's no telling when a retro of the OG is gonna come back. Um, I'm not gonna check stock prices, stock X prices for this. You know, uh, I know they got hit pretty hard during the, 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 the rioting. And so it's no telling what's happening to stock, but you know, this shoe is probably somewhere in the high 200s. And I think it's an amazing shoe. I think the price has shot up you know, this past May at the uh, conclusion of the last dance documentary or whenever the shoe debuted, uh, probably around episodes two or three, or maybe maybe uh, maybe between four and five, somewhere around there. But anyway, the shoe is immaculate, man. I love this shoe. Let me get that horsehair thing out one time. You know, let me brush this new buck off, get that thing going. That's another thing too. You know, I mean, I, hopefully the camera's picking it up that, you know, once you take care of this thing, the suede or this new buck, whatever this is, it's just a really nice quality. And it looks, I mean, look at that thing on camera, man. What's that, what's that guy? What's that? I don't know. I'm gonna love the shoe regardless. It's a dope shoe, man. It's a dope, dope, dope shoe. So that being said, on a scale of one to 10, uh, I think I would absolutely give this shoe a nine to a nine and a half. As I mentioned, I don't know what a 10 looks like, uh, but this is damn close to it. This is damn close to a perfect Jordan shoe. This is damn close to um, something that every, I think it's not even damn close. Everyone should have this shoe in their collection. Point blank period. Is it a must cop? Yes, absolutely. If for no other reason than to have the OG colorways and the silhouettes, this is absolutely it. I mean, there are some that are still escape me at the moment. So you're not going to see uh, Jordan 6 Carmines, which Jordan had on feet. Uh, those do retro in 2021. And that's an absolute cop, probably a double up. But we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, what else he had on feet? Probably, I think the French Blues, which I have. Not the French Blues, Legend Blues. I don't know what they're called. Sport Blue, Sport Blue. But I got those two, we'll talk about those. But this of, of those is a cream of the crop, man. And what I really like about the six, being that this is the one that started it all, it's been very versatile when it comes to doing collabs. And I have a couple of uh, videos out. You probably saw my uh, denim, wash denim video, which was supposed to be a Levi's collab, which I, you know, turned into something that was uh, suitable for me. But that's what, you know, this, this is the genesis of it all. This is the start, it's the grandfather, you know what I mean? So man, take this and run out and go get it. This thing is bugging me, what's this? It's bugging me. Oof, there we go. Run out and go grab this shoe, man. And make sure you get the 20, 
uh, 19 version. Now, some people are actually, they actually like the uniqueness of the 2014 version, the one with the hot pink instead of the, the true infrared. But um, this one is it for me. This one's it for me. And on this particular one, there's no different lace locks uh, than normal. There's no hang tags or anything. You know what I mean? There's a hang tag, not on this particular shoe, but on the other DMP, there's a hang tag that can erase this one. And I think I have opposing shoes, I do. So you can see they're just, you know, carbon copies of one another. Or excuse me, this is a carbon copy of this guy. But this is the OG. This is where it all started, which made this one all the much, you know, that much more necessary to have. Man, I think this thing, even on camera, you know what I mean? I always tell you that shoes take life, different lives on in hand, in pictures and on feet. And that's a dope shoe at all three stages. So, you know what I mean? I don't know what else there is to say about that shoe. That is the Jordan 6 Infrared 6. Absolutely a must cop, a nine and a half, a nine, nine and a half, somewhere around there. Go out and get you one, you know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't say pay over $300 for it, but somewhere under that, it's definitely worth it to me. It's a grail, it's a grail, bro. You gotta get it, gotta get it. That's my interpretation of that shoe. I appreciate you guys sticking in there. Hope everyone's uh, remaining safe, you know what I mean? It's, it's crazy times we're living in, but uh, hey man, you know, hopefully we can do this and communicate to each other. And uh, I've got a couple of requests to do some to do some videos. So that's dope, man. The channel's slowly growing. Thank you guys. Uh, so I'm gonna go into my spiel. If you made it this far, do me a favor. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Um, hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when I do new videos. Uh, comment down below. Tell me, are these a grill for you? Tell me your thoughts about this shoe, whether or not you gotta have them. You know what I mean? Uh, follow me on Instagram at J underscore shoe fanatic. You know what I mean? I'm there. And I also started uh, a Facebook page that's also called J Shoe Fanatic. So you can check that out. I'm there trying to expand my empire, like I always say. And don't be surprised because there's going to be a follow up video to this one that, de that details the reflections of a champion version. You know what I mean? They're all kind of the same. And I'm going to put those together in that video so you can see what I'm talking about. But check the on feet. I did absolutely put these on feet for you guys so you can see, you know, how I rock them. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay tuned for more, more to come. Hope you guys are staying safe and peace out. I'm out.